gonna get a donut. What is life? I just woke up. Today is December 12, 2016. Happy birthday, Natasha. It's my cousin's birthday. But I'm getting ready to put my little sister on the bus. Aaron, come say hi. Hi, love. Ready for school? Yes. What'd you eat for breakfast? Rich toast. Okay. It's about that time. She, she's so bougie. She does not like to go outside in the snow. But she's gonna go to bed. Because it's snowing. Look at that. Welcome to Ohio. Go potty. Do you mean to clean it off for you? Here. Take your little butt to the potty. Come on. Just got my little sister on the bus. Going to get some coffee. Should I go to Dunkin' or Starbucks? That's the question right now. We're gonna go to Dunkin'. Dunkin' it is. Arriving. Bagel from McDonald's. I'm not going to have breakfast today. I don't care. And that's that. It's final. Can I have a large iced coffee with a little bit of mocha, um, cream and sugar, and uh, lots of ice? And what else can I get you? That's all. Alrighty. Two fifty nine. Go on around. Thank you. You're welcome. Can't have a donut. Can't have a steak and cheese bagel. Unfortunately. I kind of want to go buy a stick, make my own stick egg and cheese bagel because those actually taste a whole lot better. Oh, my face is so puffy. It's cool though. Man, I didn't get a donut. What is life? Oh, Just got done cooking my steak egg and cheese bagel. Kind of got irritated halfway through because I recognized I didn't have American cheese. And normally I put a, like a slice of American cheese on top of um, the egg because it just tastes so good. But it's cool. Here's how it turned out. Here's how it's made. Tell me that does not look bomb. Yes. Time for quiet time with Jesus. Jesus time. Every day I have to have quiet time because when I don't have quiet time, I'm a hot mess. So my quiet time consists of a few things. So I start off and I pray and I listen to some worship music to like really get my spirit ready to receive whatever it is that God has for me. So I've done that. So now I'm going to open my word and then I use the SOAP method for Bible study. And what that is, is scripture, observation, application, and prayer. So I read a few passages in the Bible and then whatever I receive, like whatever verse really sticks out to me, I write that scripture down. And then I observe like what I got from it or how I took it. And then I put how I can apply it to my life. And then I pray. And then I write into my thoughts book, which is pretty much just my diary. I normally do a writing prompt because it's so fun to do these. I got this at Target and it's like really cool. It has like Complete this thought. Someone really needs to design a better, and then you finish the sentence. It just gets you in the mood for writing. Um, and then I go, every Wednesday I do this, which is my prayer journal. And I just write prayers, and I write down whatever prayers the Lord has answered. So, yeah. Let's, uh, I have a lot of writing to do. I like to write a lot, so. But let's go ahead and get started. Just got back from getting an oil change on my car. And I just have to say, I love my Kia Soul. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Because. So this is my second Kia Soul. The first one I had was a 2010. That was the first model ever. I love that one. About two years, almost two years ago, I got the 2015. And it was brand new. And I had like 70,000 miles on it because I do a lot of driving. And with me doing so much driving, I have not had to put any money into this car outside of oil changes, um, tires, like a tire rotation, a wheel alignment, the basic stuff. But I've had no problems with like 
the brakes, the body, and part of it is I've taken better care of my car since I've learned what not taking care of your car can do, but also just because it's a good car. My first one, my 2010, was a good car. I only got the newer one because I plan on keeping my car for a while, and the one I bought before was used, so I wanted to buy something brand new that I could just like pay off and keep forever, but I really do love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, and I just wanted to share that with you because it was really great. So I just stopped recording. I don't know why. I'm still learning how to play with this camera and stuff, so... Yeah. My brother leaves for work. I have to move my car. So I'm probably going to go to Chipotle. And I think I want to take you guys with me. So you can see what I order and like how I order. But um, I haven't fully committed to like taking my camera everywhere because it's a little bit weird. I'm the weirdest person ever. Hold up. Hold up. I got this candle from Walmart. And I'm a big like Bath and Body Works person. But their candles are so expensive. So I went to Walmart. And I was just shopping, and I got this um, this candle. It's called Mold Cider. Super, super smell good. It's so, it smells so good. It smells so good. I'm about to light it after I clean my room up. My room's a mess. That's why you guys can't see it. It's not actually. It's really not a mess. I'm being I'm being so dramatic, but it's not clean. So yeah. Now I'm going to really throw go. I'll see y'all in a little bit. I'm hoping that I can make a decision on what I want to eat before I get into the area where everything is because I just can't decide to be honest with you. The thing with Chipotle is I don't really feel like talking to people that much. I think I'm going to go to Jimmy John's. So yeah, I don't normally get tuna anywhere but I decided to try it and I'm happy I did because I really do like it. But I wasn't eating tuna from anywhere because I was afraid to try it because I think I had a really terrifying experience as a kid where I tried tuna at somebody's house and it was nasty so I don't eat it typically if it's not at home or I'm making it but I tried it from um, Jimmy John's and it was really good it was so good it's, it has too many onions in it I've never had tuna salad with onions but it has onions in it but it's okay I can get past that this is my first time um, like taping all day so that's exciting I've had a lot of fun today talking to the camera <laughs> I talk to myself all the time so this is not like new for me it's actually fun being able to like know that somebody's gonna actually respond at some point oh my god there we go okay. sorry Jesus so yeah it's kind of fun knowing that someone's gonna respond to me at some point so I just got done um, eating and my food was mediocre it was it was good but it wasn't like it was just food it was it wasn't bad I'm going to I'm watching Sweet Home Alabama which is one of my favorites I'm about to uh, finish these chips with my Snapple and edit this video um and yeah i think that's it so this was my first day of vlogging and i actually really enjoyed it it was a lot of fun um talking to people instead of talking to myself <laughs> yay so yeah if you did like my vlog today please do like comment and subscribe most importantly subscribe I'll see you guys later. Bye.